Okay, let's solve today's second question. Valid palindrome two. Uh, given a non-empty string s, you may delete at most uh, one character and see whether you can make it a palindrome or not. Uh, a palindrome um, is a sequence of characters which reads the same backwards and forwards. Um, so it's uh, the same when we read from left to right or we read from right to left. The ABA here is the example that a string is by itself a palindrome without any, any kind of uh, modification, deletion. The second one we have ABCA. The, it's, uh, we can delete one character to make it a palindrome. A palindrome. The explaining says that you can delete the character C. So if we delete C, all we have remain is ABA, which is uh, of course a, poly, a valid palindrome. But we can also delete B as well. If we delete B, we get ACA. So uh, I'm gonna put a link to the valid palindrome one question. The strategy to check whether a string is a palindrome, pal palindrome or not, is just to have two pointers. Uh, one from the left to the right, the other one from right to left, and we're just checking the correspondent uh, letters one at a time to see uh, whether they are the same or not. Uh, if uh, we ever find a, a dismatch, then we can return false. Otherwise, when we the two points meet up, meet in the middle, uh, then the whole thing must be a palindrome. So, so for this particular question, uh, it's not much different because. Um, all we can do is to, uh, when we see a uh, mismatch, a mismatch, all we can do is to delete one character. So we could either delete the left one or we can delete the right one. And uh, as the example here shows, it's uh, all possible. Uh, we can we, we delete B or we delete C. The remainder thing is uh, valid. Pa the, we're gonna have a result that's a uh, valid palindrome. So uh, we have to check both cases. So, um, so that just uh, summarizes, uh, basically describes the uh, procedure. We just do the uh, palindrome checking as, as usual. Um, have two pointers moving towards the middle. When we see uh, um, a non-match case, uh, we try um, remove the left one, and also we try to remove the right one. If either one of those succeeded, uh, succeed means that the, the uh, anything in between after the deletion is uh, still a palindrome, then uh, we can uh, achieve this goal by deleting one of the characters. <coughs> so um, that's the strategy of solving this problem. Let, let me uh, move myself over and start coding this question. Uh, okay. So we have a left pointer starts from the leftmost location and the right pointer that's the start with the rightmost location. While these two uh, have a mat in the middle, um, what we should do is uh, check whether these two uh, correspondent uh, characters are the same or not. Uh, but we are not really immediately return false yet because we have to do uh, a deletion and then checking the um, the middle part after the deletion. Uh, we're gonna have a um, a helper function to do this remainder checking. Um, if uh, if that if that's the same, then we just uh, advance the pointers. And when we when the when the two things meet in the middle, uh, we are pretty sure that uh, it must be the case with the same with example one, that the, the string itself without any deletion is a valid palindrome. Um, so just to, to save a little bit of code, we define another function as palindrome. Um, just put the two pointers. Uh, we're essentially just uh, copying this. Um, and uh, so uh, basically this it's the same logic of checking things. I just uh, rub out that in the function. Um, if we see in the man, man checking logic if we see 
the first the first uh, uh, mismatch, we could try to skip the left one, left the character, or we could uh, skip the right character. Um, if either way, we can have the middle part to be uh, valid palindrome, then the whole thing can be a, pa a valid palindrome. So that's the code for this question. Um, let me check. Uh, it seems it seems okay to me. So let's try to run it. Yeah, it works. Uh, yeah, it's uh, again uh, rel relatively slow and use more memory, but uh, I don't see any reason it's not using constant uh, uh, space. So yeah, anyway, that's the solution to this question. Um, yeah.